Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft on the Team Tuxedo server. Now, you might have seen this from my previous episodes or the live stream. I am in the process of making a giant underwater house, and uh, one of the two things I needed to do was get this area nice and flat, which you can see it now pretty much is. Now, I'm going to do some more building over there and some more building over there, but at the moment, that's looking pretty good. Now, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I don't want to spend all my time building this. And to be honest with you, I can't really be bothered to go back to Canton on Sea. But uh, underneath here, there appears to be uh, a bit of a dungeon. And I'm constantly hearing spiders over there. So I'm thinking there's a spider spawner in there. So what I was thinking was, you know, a bit of a change of pace. Why don't we go and have a look? So just made myself a little breathing way in. Right through this. <laughs> blup, blup, blup. There we go. Through and down we go. And the traditional creeper greeting. Always welcome. Always welcome. Now, I've got night vision on at the moment, uh, but I'm still going to torch this up because we've got to come back and give you an idea of what sort of materials we can find down here as well. So I'm going to stick a torch there. There we go. You can see the difference in the colour between what's normally dark and what isn't. So we have, here we are under the sea. Ooh, a bit of gold over there. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Some bats. Zombie with a cold. Water coming in here is another surprise. Let's just see what else we've got down here. So yeah, um don't really have much of an episode apart from let's play dodge the creeper Ooh, that was almost a very short episode there um, yeah I just uh, have an explore around here see if we can find that spider dungeon that'd be fun and just see what's going on and perhaps I can talk to you about a few of my plans uh, and uh, yeah um, oh, okay first of all this build here this um, what I want to do, let's just pop that off. There we go. Let's see what's down there. What I want to do is just build some, some big glass areas off out of uh, the flat area of the sea there and just start building underneath of the main area. I'm not going to build a house per se, but the main area is going to be a nice arboreal foresty area where I'm going to put a bed and. Uh, few bits and pieces and I, I'm as we build and this is going to be an ongoing project I'm going to start putting other things leading to it so um, I will do another dome or dome like shape with a uh, with a, uh, a farm in it and then another perhaps with you know sort of the uh, with all the research and let's have some of this iron it's just feeling got wrong just going past all this iron and not taking it um, yes, and another area will be full of, um, um, you know, sort of researching magic, things like that, and I don't know, perhaps I'll do some, some other rooms with different biomes built into them, perhaps even make a village, I don't know, it's just gonna, it's gonna, it's sort of, a lot of this is pretty much up in the air at the moment, it's gonna be a case of seeing where it takes me, oh, that was silly, actually, do I have a, I, yes. It's just occurred to me I don't have any water on my bar, which is a really stupid idea in this circumstances, isn't it? So let's go and get some. You'd think, seeing as we were underwater, that wouldn't be too hard to get, but uh, I've probably just clogged up the only water source for a while. That's the way it goes, really, isn't it? So I came in down here, if I remember. Yeah, looks like it. It's, uh, it's hard to say, yeah, I, I came down the path that's lit because I've got night vision and I can't see which path is lit. Let's go get some water. Uh, water bottle is not exactly what I want there, I think. So, hello. Thank you very much for your water. I'm going back down again now. Right, yes, and... Uh, oh, that was foolish. Never mind, we survived. Okay, um, yes. 
getting to my point, I think. Trying to, at least. Yeah, I'm going to uh, just, just try a lot of different biomes here, connected by passageways under the water, and just line things up to uh, just fill this whole basin as much as possible, as I think, to be honest with you. It's about a, a 300 block wide basin there, so there's loads of, of space to do things. So it pretty much allows me to uh, give my imagination a free reign not get arrested for doing it as well, which makes a pleasant change, I've got to be honest with you. So, of course, there's other important things that I need to do while I'm counting on C. I mean, the other one is, of course, Prank Mod. You know, he's, he's called me naughty names in the past, and he shouldn't get away with it. He needs to be taught the uh, the air of his ways, the that he sh needs to be nice to uh, my favourite YouTuber. Yes, me. Oh, oh, yep, there goes the night vision. And it sounds like I'm just about to walk into a zombie convention. So let's just light this up a little bit back here. That's it. Let's go and find where these, uh, these zombies are. Sound like this way, possibly up. this way. Zombies this way, I think. There they are. Q zombies! Sorry, did I say Q zombies? I meant kill zombies. Kill the zombie, kill the zombie, kill the zombie. No, I said kill the zombie, not the Simon. Good lord, can't you guys get anything right? Hello? See what we got up here. Nice big space, nice big creeper, nice big explosion. Um, okay, actually, let's mark this one so it's easy to find when we come back here. Just put a little sign saying way up that way. Oh, what else? Yeah, um. Yes, mod needs a little bit of pranking. I mean, you you uh, understand that he put a, a load of uh, chickens in the giant chicken he put above my house. The problem was there's so many chickens in my house on a daily basis I didn't notice for a while, so I think that something must be done about that. But uh, on the other hand, I found out that a certain skeptical squirrel was involved in this as well, so. My wrath will have to be spread a touch farther, I think. I don't know about you guys, but... Mm, yes. Cruelty to Gullen cannot be allowed. Not when I'm on watch. So, yes, I'm going to be thinking up something uh, suitable for young Squizzy while uh, out here doing this, and I shall return with a vengeance and a prank and I don't know at the moment I'm toying with the idea of just rebuilding his shop just upside down mm -hmm. or perhaps his undersea shop fill that with squid but they don't seem to be you know subtle enough for me at the moment I I, I desire something subtler so Perhaps I should throw it up to you guys if you have any suggestions. Do let me know what's up there. The answer to that is the sound of lava and nothing else. Let's leave that. Let's go back down here. That was interesting bubble all on its own. So, let's have a bit of iron there. Thank you very much. But yeah, the uh, the shops are going quite well. Um, my my deal with Whip Stitch means that uh, Clucking Good Tricking has a supply of local cluckers, which is you know just makes life easier. I, I buy up a Whip Stitch or and, uh, and, uh, and sell off at a little bit of a profit, and you know everybody's happy. Or well, except possibly for the chicken. I don't know. 
And it works. It works. Except possibly the chicken. And as I used up a load of uh, redstone lately, that's all quite welcome, to be totally honest with you. Let's have something to eat. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what uh, you guys have in mind uh, have in mind for pranks. You know, what you would consider a good prank. And uh, um, I think you can guarantee on this server that uh, any good prank ideas are going to get used. Ooh, what's here? We've got water and lava. Um, might this be a canyon? Let's have a quick look. No, night vision, I missed these, so... Alright, let's get through here. Right, make this a little bit safer. I'm go and have a look around, because the last thing I want to do is get pushed into some lava for some strange reason. I'm a bit old that way. Always have been. It's a failing of mine, I know, but, yeah. Uh, what can I say? Alright, uh... Yeah, this is quite an extensive little cave slit system, isn't it? Uh, how far down are we? Uh, 11. So we're well at, well, well at the diamond layer. In fact, we're a bit below what would be considered a good place to get diamonds. So I'm kind of hoping we can get some good stuff in here. But uh, time will tell. I just have to go around exploring it a little bit. Uh, yeah, next episode we'll be back doing the building, but for, just for once I felt like doing something a touch different, and uh, I rarely get to just go and explore, and it's you know, always a fun part. Hello! Ah, that you were looking the wrong way, weren't you? Have a look down there in a sec, let's come back and get some of these resources. Lapis is always good. Uh, seeing as I've got nothing enchanted anymore, I need to do, go do a... A big spell of enchanting. This is helping, of course, giving me some levels to do this the uh, enchantering stuff, which is good. Oh, bit of coal. Probably never end up going back down here or change my mind completely and incorporate all these tunnels into my design, one or the other. But uh, at the moment. Getting a lot of good stuff out of this. There's a lava around here, but uh, seeing as we just left a lava pocket, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Whoa! Now we hear where the lava is coming from. Uh, yes, we seem to be rather full of stuff here, don't I? Right. Let's go and clear that uh, that for a little bit. There we go. Alright. Let that fill out a little bit more. Yeah, that's relatively safe. We'll go down and look there. Look there in a sec. I think this might actually link up, so we'll try that first. Let's leave that lapis for now. And see where this goes. Ooh, more lapis. Ooh, more everything. Quite the little mother load this, isn't it? I'll come back for that stuff in a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. Let's fill that up and yeah, so round we go here. And darkness. There you go, that's a bit more like it. Gold, excellent. In fact, let's make sure we got that. Let's go and get that before we go uh, anywhere else. Uh, gold is one of the harder to find elements on this server. Um, diamonds are easy. Gold is uh, sorry. Um, diamonds are easy. Iron is easy. Redstone, as always on these servers, is fairly easy to find. Lapis and gold are fairly rare. Emeralds, of course, are rarer still, but uh, 
No, it's not really much use for them, to be totally honest with you, so uh, it's not a great loss. Yeah, um, personally, I don't normally bother trading with villagers. There tends to be fairly little that they've got that I want, so I just don't bother. Uh, uh, how are we doing for coal? Let's have this as well. Yeah. Other plans? I'm going to start recording again this week on my other Minecraft server, my own server, Iris, and after also this week, probably on Sunday, there is going to be a new series starting, which is a visual novel one. Uh, going to do one of the novels of the same people it did Natch the Girl. If you like that one, you will probably like this one as well. I won't tell you what it is, because if I do, by Sunday you'll have all played it and you'll all be saying, you're taking the wrong decisions! Uh, well, you'll probably be saying that anyway, but that's not the point. So let's just grab some more of this coal here on the way through. Nice to know I've got a few resources floating around if I need them. Yeah, I've got some, got some spaces I can free up, so that's alright. Uh, leave that lapis there. Not really interested in that. I'm interested in this mind. Hello. It reminds me, I used up a lot of my quartz recently, building mobs bits and... Building mobs bits and... Uh, um, playing a few pranks and building some circuitry for people. I've got through a ton of quartz. Um, quartz is required for redstone comparators, of which I use an awful lot because they're a very important part of redstone circuitry. This place looks interesting, doesn't it? Get a bit of light down. There we go. I think we are coming through to a bit of an open space, aren't we? Yeah, alright, I'm starting to feel a bit claustrophobic in there, to be honest with you. So this is good. Right. Let's clear our way through this a touch. I've come back for that gold, don't worry, I haven't forgotten it. Just want to see where this is going. And not very far, to be totally honest with you. I think we're getting to be pretty much done here, aren't we? Oh, no, actually, there's another big bit here. Let's just block this water off. That might be easier to traverse. Oh, actually, when I said big bits. I meant actually not very large bit, but still. Makes a change. Yeah, I think we're done here. I haven't found any diamonds, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. Loads of other resources, and they're all going to come in handy. So let's just grab a little bit of these and head back, I think. Uh, unless anything interesting happens, I think I will say fairly well at this point and I shall see you guys back at the surface. Right, here we are back at the surface, just heading back to the little cottage that Tort and I made. Well, I was going to say by the sea, it's actually on the sea. So, uh, just going to sleep the night here, grab some of these trees, get some wood. Then I'm going to head back over there and do some more of the wood decking, which, uh, do for a little bit this evening, uh, this, this episode, and probably finish that off between episodes. What I'd like to be doing is the next time we record here, uh, I would like to be uh, stick that in there. Um, there's some iron ore. I would like to be started to work on the top layer, which is why I want all this gravel and sand and things like that, because 
basically what I want to do is build a, I don't know, it, it, sorry if you've, you've heard of this before and I'm boring you, but basically what I want to do is just effectively make a mold and take that mold down, um, build a mold of what I want to, uh, what I want my place to look like on that wood. So I'm making out of sand and gravel and I'm going to set fire to the wood underneath it. And that will then float down to the bottom of the sea. And then I've got a shape which I can then go down and use some water breathing potions and lots and lots of glass to build around the shape. And that will give me my new home. I was, why I was hoping to get some diamonds is, is that uh, I'm a bit short of equipment at the moment. I'm using a steel axe, an iron axe rather, and an iron sword. And I'd much rather be using. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to do that to you. Sorry. Um, I'd much rather be using uh, a a diamond axe at the very least, or a diamond axe and a diamond sword. Things that will uh, last a bit longer. It can be enchanted up more nicely, and so on. And, uh, but that said. I'm also too lazy to uh, to go back to, to town to get that done properly, so I was kind of hoping that I would find myself some diamonds down there. You know, just a couple would do to make a sword, three would be nice to make an axe. Uh, my pickaxe is starting to wear out, which is not so good. But uh, if you think about all the uh, gravel and stone that have been shifting recently. It's not really that surprising, is it? That is offending my OCD, so what we shall do is we shall put it here. And water for a sec, get some dirt. Put a dirt block here and put the sapling on there. That way, there, parallel. And parallel is good. These guys, these guys are well behaved. They, they know which side their bread is buttered. And other similarly insane sounding things. So let's get all this down. What I'll do is I'm just going to make planks out of this lot, go over to the base and start laying that stuff out. So, but uh, in order to do that properly, I need to get some saplings down here for the next lot. Pick up the loose saplings that have fallen, and this axe is not going to last much longer, so I think I will build another axe before we go. I know I should really perhaps save the last little bit of this axe, but I honestly can't be bothered. Um, it's not like we're so short of iron that we need to spare just that tiny little bit that repairing will give us, so that's just waste the whole place. One thing I am not going to do is cut down all of this, so get what I can. Okay, wasn't as much as I expected to, and we'll set fire to the rest. Got to put a sap in there, that's silly of me. Okay, so yeah, that's everything else. Alright, where's my flint and steel? Ah, I think I left it in the hut. If not, I'll make a new one. Okay, um, shut the door. Some of this iron. Oh, there it is in the corner. Couldn't see it for looking. Uh, as I'm here, let's make myself a new axe at the very least. So, iron, iron, iron. And stick, stick gives us an axe, which is just what we need. So let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Sand. Yes, eventually, basically, I'm going to have to go through all the sand in the area and just start hoovering it up, which is going to be a time-consuming job, to say the least. You know, so get all these dunes down to about uh, sea level, because I'm going to need an awful lot of an awful awful lot of sand and gravel to do that and when I'm finding lots at the bottom of the sea it's not going to be nearly enough. There we go. 
that will burn through by the time we get back and clear out the area stuff it along a little bit there we go right and that will create a lot of space for trees to grow into which is exactly what I want so let's get back over here shall we I'm still fairly certain there's a spider spawner somewhere at the bottom there so I think my explorations at the bottom of the sea have not finished yet but uh, I just wanted to look a bit change of pace and like I said I wanted to see if I could find some diamonds I didn't but it's not the end of the world so let's get out here let's make ourselves some wood planks let's eat some clucking good chicken and get lay in the wood well, that sounded wrong didn't it oh okay, as you can see the uh, the basic shape here so oh, actually let's, let's give you a little tour the idea is I'm gonna have the entrance here and yeah it's not gonna be a door because there's gonna be C but uh, I'm gonna put a portal here path leading down through here this will all be green some bushes and trees things like that into this main area which is going to be a big 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 sort of roughly square with sorry I should say roughly rectangular with uh, some curved edges area and I'm gonna have sort of a bed a little bit of a library perhaps an enchanting table in here um, my storage will probably go under this and I'm going to forest the area and I'm kind of thinking at the moment I want something from this room to go up to the surface so there is actually a surface entrance and after playing so much Bioshock recently I have a pretty good idea I know what to do and I've probably given you all the clue you need if you've ever heard of that game so uh, but uh, I'll leave it like that I won't go into details just yet well mostly because I'm not entirely certain yet what I want to make but uh, See what I want, so there'll be a sort of stairway going up through to this level, stairway going down to a sub level where I'm going to do this with my storage and things like that. And then off the back here, I'm going to have a couple of pathways going away. I'm thinking of one going in sort of this direction and one sort of going in that direction. They will go out to um, some sort of satellite areas. I'm thinking about putting a farm in, putting a village in. Yeah, I have my very own village of mermen. Why not? And that will all go under the sea. And you know, if I think anything else, I think of any ideas I have. And I have one which I don't want to tell you guys yet. It's secret. But uh, there is something else I want to do, and that will have a, a third dome all of its own. I think you guys will like it. Sort of thing you guys like, I think. So that will be fun. But I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Yeah, we're nearly done with this, aren't we? I'm so happy about that. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this this off um, over the next couple of days, and the next time you see this, I will start, be starting to put some some gravel and sand on this, and I will just sort of show you a rough idea. I think this is going to be a hugely boring thing to do on camera, so I'm not intending on doing most of it on camera but enough so that you guys can see the progress and how we're going and why I'm not in Canton on sea pranking squirrel and things like that no, that will happen but I hope that you guys will enjoy what I'm doing here to be totally honest with you it's going to be a fairly big project it's going to be a fairly time consuming project and you know I can probably see me working on this for the lifetime of the server so Certainly going to keep me busy, and hopefully you guys amused, because it's a bit pointless otherwise. So, what I will say, guys, I think I will leave you all here. A um, little bit of an odd episode. I do apologise for that, but uh, I've done an awful lot of buildy ones recently, so I thought just do something a little bit different for different, and then I end up building, which of course you know that says an awful lot about me more than else so until the next time I've been Simon Parsons this has been Minecraft on the Team Tuxedo server thank you and good night